Spoilers ahead. Watch out, and take care. The movie begins in Venice, where Steve Ford, a Los Angeles private detective is by the seashore. He engages with the local children, teaching them and encouraging them to skateboard. Meanwhile, Steve's assistant, John, is parked in a car. He speaks on the phone, keeping a close eye on Nola, a girl standing nearby. As John watches, his phone slips from his hand, displaying a message, do not let her out of your sight. Later Nola enters a gated area. In a counseling room, people gather, including Rick, a man struggling with sex addiction. As Rick shares his story, John chuckles, drawing attention. The mediator prompts John to speak about Nola, which initially meets resistance. However, John eventually stands and admits his own struggle with sex addiction, prompting a mix of reactions from the group. The mediator intervenes as emotions rise, stopping John midway. Rick and John, left alone, share a moment of applause and solidarity. Under the cloak of night, John pursues Nola, eventually intercepting her. It's revealed her brother had tasked John's employer, Steve, with locating her. John explains this to Nola, dispelling any misconceptions about his intentions, and convinces her to accompany him to meet Steve. He escorts her to her residence, ensuring her safe return. However, a surprising turn reveals Nola becoming intimate with Steve, leading to them sharing a bed. Their intimate moment is shattered by the sound of approaching footsteps. Steve, sensing danger, arms himself and confronts Nola's brothers, who violently throw him outside. Despite her attempts to intervene, her brother commands her to retreat to safety. Steve finds himself at the receiving end of a brutal assault by Nola's brothers, but manages to escape, plunging into a nearby swimming pool. Emerging from the water, he grabs his gun and flees, his only cover being his skateboard and the darkness of the night. A police car gives chase, prompting him to hastily conceal his weapon. When confronted by Officer Bill, Steve ingeniously hides the gun. Officer Bill recognizes him, deciding to let him off with a warning. However, Steve, feeling liberated, begins a wild streak of naked skating down the road. Meanwhile, Nola's brothers embark on a frantic search for him. They are taken by surprise when Steve suddenly appears before them, prompting a wild car chase, as Steve speeds away on his skateboard. In a daring move, he skates into a bustling bar, creating a scene as he glides across tables to the shock of patrons. His friend Tino, determined to help, sneaks him into his pizza place, in return, agreeing to retrieve back Tino's stolen car from a gang leader, Spider. As the search intensifies, Steve continues to elude the brothers. The next day, Tino and Steve are sitting in a car, planning their next move. Steve devises a scheme to infiltrate Spider's house, under the guise of a pizza delivery, aiming to steal back the stolen car. However, the plan hits a snag when Steve triggers suspicion with the noise of the car. Spider's associates are alerted, and a chaotic confrontation ensues. In the chaos, Steve manages to start the car and speed away, but not before the vehicle sustains significant damage from gunshots. Devastated by the state of the car, Tino breaks down in tears, and Steve attempts to console him amidst the turmoil. Seeking solace and a moment of respite, Steve meets up with his sister Katie and nephew Taylor. They share a heartfelt conversation, offering a glimpse into Steve's personal struggles and motivations. Feeling a sense of camaraderie, Steve then joins Dave and John for a daring adventure on the sea, where they engage in exhilarating water skating. Amidst the chaos and thrill of his escapades, Steve grapples with personal connections, loyalty, and the consequences of his reckless actions. The next day, he is enjoying a playful moment with his beloved dog, a brief respite from the whirlwind of events. Soon, Lou the Jew, a real estate developer, seeks out Steve at a local restaurant. The two engage in conversation, their attention drawn to a picture of a building, that sparks their interest. They delve into discussions about potential plans for the property. Eager to move forward with their ideas, Steve makes a stop at Dave Phillips' store. After a fruitful conversation with Dave, Steve brings his trusty canine companion along to the office. There, amidst the hustle and bustle of work, he confers with John about their upcoming ventures. He then turns to Dave, seeking his assistance in their latest project. Joined by Dave, they venture to a designated location, where Steve unveils a mysterious device. Intrigued, Dave dons the device, affectionately named Joe, and is left outside a restaurant, as Steve departs. Inside the restaurant, tension brews as Anna, Dave's wife, confronts him with divorce papers. Despite Steve's encouragement to resist, Dave ultimately capitulates and signs the documents, signaling the end of their marriage. The next morning, Steve awakens to a startling discovery, paint splattered across his head. Puzzled and slightly amused, 
he realizes that someone has played a mischievous prank on him. Glancing across the building, he notices yet another provocative image adorning its walls. Determined to get to the bottom of these incidents, Steve heads to the office, clutching the paint-splattered evidence. He hands the case over to John, tasking him with a mission to track down the elusive painter. Seeking a moment of respite, Steve visits Nola's house. Their intimate moment is abruptly interrupted by a call from Taylor, Steve's nephew. Duty calls, and Steve reluctantly leaves to attend to the pressing matter. Upon returning home, he is met with a devastating sight, his house has been ransacked by thieves. To add to the heartache, his beloved dog Buddy is nowhere to be found. Taylor arrives, bearing the grim news of the burglary, and the disappearance of their furry companion. Determined to track down the culprits, he sets off to a nearby store, where Rajesh, a friendly grocery store clerk, offers to help. Rajesh presents him with an offer, access to the CCTV footage in exchange for a sum of money. Unfortunately, Steve finds himself short on cash, only able to provide $80 of the requested $200. Undeterred, Rajesh hands over the limited footage, revealing the presence of two mysterious figures caught on camera. Steve's quest for answers intensifies, as he unravels the threads of this unsettling mystery, determined to retrieve his stolen belongings, and reunite with his loyal companion, Buddy. As the investigation deepens, Steve finds himself drawn into a web of intrigue and danger, where the true motives of those around him remain shrouded in secrecy. Armed with the camera footage, he wastes no time in tracking down the two individuals caught on camera. Confronting them head-on, he unleashes a flurry of punches, demanding answers. The men quickly crack under the pressure, revealing the name of their dealer, Spider. Determined to retrieve his beloved dog, Steve sets off to Spider's house, armed with a box of cupcakes as a peace offering. However, his plans take a dark turn when Spider's henchman forcibly ushers Steve inside, demanding a hefty ransom of $4,000 for Buddy's safe return, to pay for the damage Steve caused to his home with the earlier car theft fiasco. To make matters worse, he is given a tight deadline, 24 hours to come up with the money. Desperate for a solution, he turns to an unlikely source of assistance, Yuri, a notorious loan shark known for his unorthodox deals. Finding Yuri on the beach, he pleads for a loan of $5,000. In a bizarre twist, Yuri proposes a peculiar trade, a scrotum bow tie in exchange for the money, much to Steve's bewilderment. Undeterred, Steve seeks out Lou the Jew, offering a tempting proposition. He promises to uncover the identity of the person responsible for the lewd art, in exchange for his childhood home. Lou, intrigued by the offer, agrees to the deal, setting the stage for a high-stakes exchange. Meanwhile, Steve sends a cryptic message to John, urging him to visit the local art gallery, and inspect a specific painting. In a playful twist, Steve rates the painting a 9 out of 10, hinting at its significance. At the art gallery, John meets Joan, who provides crucial information about the artist behind the painting, Salvatore. Eager to delve deeper into the mystery, John seeks out Salvatore's contact details, setting a new chapter in their investigation. As the clock ticks down, Steve finds himself embroiled in a whirlwind of schemes, deals, and unexpected alliances. He must navigate a treacherous landscape of secrets and deceit to save his faithful companion. After getting the cash from Yuri, he pays Spider, only for Spider to inform him that his ex-girlfriend Lupe stole the dog, along with Spider's coke. Steve's anger boils over, leading him to unleash his fury on Spider's TV in a fit of rage. In a moment of begrudging cooperation, Spider provides Steve with Lupe's address, and makes a deal, asking Steve to get the coke back, in exchange, he will return the money he paid for the dog. Meanwhile, John adopts a disguise and ventures into a local bar, hoping to glean information about the mysterious graffiti artist. His covert mission takes an unexpected turn, as he finds himself immersed in the seedy underworld of the art scene. On a parallel track, Steve finds himself drawn into the orbit of Mocha, a captivating figure at the Hollywood Motel, who offers tantalizing clues about Lupe and Buddy's whereabouts. Joined by Nola, the two embark on a journey of discovery, their budding romance intertwining with the urgency of their mission. As tensions escalate, the painter makes a dramatic appearance, scaling the heights of a building, as Steve and his allies close in on their target. But even as they draw closer to the truth, danger lurks in the shadows, threatening to derail their plans. Steve's search for Buddy leads him into a perilous encounter with Gigi, a formidable adversary intent on imposing her own brand of transformation. In a heart-pounding escape, Steve narrowly evades capture, his determination to rescue Buddy undiminished. However, Steve's troubles only multiply as he faces the wrath of Yuri, demanding immediate repayment. With tensions reaching a boiling point, Steve finds himself embroiled in a violent confrontation, 
his resolve tested like never before. Joined by John and Lou the Jew, he uncovers shocking revelations about the true motives behind the graffiti artist's actions, leading them into a dangerous game of cat and mouse with Lou's rivals. As alliances shift and loyalties are tested, Steve must confront his inner demons and face the consequences. Steve recruits Phillips to confront Lou's rivals and close Lou's case. They learn that Lupe had sold the coke to a gang led by Prince, and infiltrate his club to steal it back. Fearing their exchange is a setup, they come armed and prepared to Spider's house. After being caught in a standoff, Spider follows through on the deal with little fanfare, parting with Steve on good terms. After receiving his childhood house from Lou, Steve gives it to his sister and niece. Unfortunately, when John falls into the clutches of Prince, a vengeful adversary seeking retribution, Steve's resolve is put to the ultimate test. With time running out and danger closing in from all sides, Steve must summon all his courage and cunning to rescue his friend, and confront the forces arrayed against him. As the final showdown looms, Steve's fate hangs in the balance, his journey fraught with peril and uncertainty. The end. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Turn on the notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out.